They tell me I've got Stu Finer on the line now as well. Is that accurate or no? Stu, how I'm you here. doing, buddy? Good, good, good. I'm recovering off the party of the century, which went uh, perfection, phenomenal. Great. Four months of hard work. And, how many uh, uh, people went to your party? Uh, unique people, 730, and the total most at one time at the house, 520. Because I had a, you know, a security firm, you know, I had closed, closed people and security cops walk around with guns and badges walk around. So we clocked it pretty good, but <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, because you know what it is? It's like, it's the funniest thing, uh, Craig. Hi, Evan, by the Hi. way, first of all, never met you in person. Can't wait to uh, hug you, by the way. That's number one. Um, so... My house would have been the easiest house to just walk in on because I invited, you know, all the barstool people, obviously, everybody at WSAN, all the New York Islanders, all the New York Jets, plus, I mean, literally hundreds of friends that I have. Okay. And my wife started really freaking out at about a thousand invites. And out of a thousand invites, I had 700, you know, Pretty 30 people number, show yeah. up, which is amazing. It's exactly. If it was on a Saturday, I would literally have had between five and 10,000 people. But because it was on a Sunday, and most people that party so hard on a Saturday, you can't really get up for a morning party. My party started at 9, 9 a.m. There was 100 people in my backyard at 9 a.m. You know, yeah. I had 18 dozen bagels. I had four types of cream cheese, <laughs> and I had coffee for 200. <laughs> um, then at 1 o'clock, uh, Craig, the, it, was a, it was a live nine-piece band with a sax. Hold on. Before player. you get to all that. I, yes, go, um, go, 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 I, go. I, I, go, just, go. I was on Twitter. And yes. I saw you put out... Um, oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Origin announcement, Craig. Now, you know I'm the source, and I, my arms reach like an octopus, and I found out key, critical, urgent, inside information so this is that made me get to. You, uh, yes. you put out some kind of yes. video or something yes. that intimates yes. that you have figured out or discovered... Yes. That at some point, whether it's tomorrow or you know, at the end of the month, when it yes. all becomes official, yes. that you are one of the 10 nominees for this year's Pulse of the People Award. Sure as the Islanders are not winning the 2022 Stanley Cup, sure <laughs> as the Brooklyn Nets are not winning the 2022 NBA championship, Thanks. I am honored and humbled and grateful to be one of the 10 people, the 10 nominees for Pulse of the People. I did not say I'm going to win, which of course you know I will. I'm not saying I'm <laughs> going to win, which of course you know is a foregone conclusion. There has never been a contest more in my wheelhouse than the Pulse of the People. Listen, I sacrifice for the Pulse of my people my marriage, my health, my reputation, my credibility. So there is no human on this earth more in touch with the pulse of the people. So one thing, the people one thing, one thing, I just want you to know, one of the other leaked out names, so no yeah, competition. Way, how are these leaks happening, I have, We're like the Supreme Court, but I want you to know, because I know you have deep respect for this man, one of the guys you're going up against is Stevie Cohen. Well, that's off the, that's allegedly. We allegedly, don't know Allegedly, your yeah. thoughts on that. Do you think you can compete with Stevie Cohen? Well, the main thing about Steve Cohen that makes him a pulse of the people is he is a criminal. He has a felony because <laughs> that's the only thing in the world that the pulse of the people can relate to. They wow. cannot relate to him being a billionaire. They cannot relate to him <laughs> flying in 40 different planes and being born with a silver spoon in his mouth. He is no competition he for me. Uh, the Evan. Match, I buy and sell that oh, billionaire. No. He... I have respect for him. I love him. Okay. I would want to be him, but he can't shine my shoes, wow. baby, in the pulse of the people. Listen, listen, I am a minus 5,000 favorite. He would be a plus gazillion. <laughs> what are you kidding? <laughs> hey, Steve, go get my coffee, buddy. All right, well, listen, if it does... make no mistake about it. If Steve Cole walks into a room and I walk into a room, the, per the and you let the fans in, the fans will put their jackets over Steve Cohen's head and ask them to hold their coat. <laughs> Well, here's what's interesting. If, if it is true, if it is true that you are both nominees, yes. I think this might be the greatest year ever for the Pulse of the People Award. Oh, no, to wait. Listen, even if he wins the World Series, I'm still the Pulse of the People champion. I'm going to be spending my tens of thousands of dollars on my tickets out of my hard-earned money. Well, 
it's not really hard earned, but it is funny. <laughs> and he's going to be living large free. Come on. All give right. me something. Let me go up against well, somebody. Well, listen, we will uh, find out officially tomorrow Jerry at 4 Recco o'clock. He's a tough man to beat. Listen, I have respect for Jerry Recco. I've never met Jerry Recco, but I love Jerry Recco. He coaches his family in baseball. He's a baseball coach, and me and him are the same people. Pretty much, he's a little taller than me, but I love him. Listen, he would be competition. That's the best champion would be competition. Jerry Rico would be competition. But don't bring these naysayers. Stevie Cohen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, listen, good luck. <laughs> I don't need luck. I don't need it. Okay. All right, pal, and uh, congratulations on your successful party of the century. And, Thank you. Uh, Stay well, and I'm sure we'll talk to you soon, okay? I love you. Evan, I love you. Let's go out to lunch. Are we allowed to go out to lunch? Yes. Can we go out to lunch? Yes, we can do that for sure. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I'll treat. Uh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. How, by the way, how many leftover bagels were there from the party? Zero. Zero. Okay, hold on. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Listen. Hold on. What? I also saw that you bought 100 pizza pies for people as they left the party. How much pizza was left over? And I don't want to embellish and make a Stu Finer story where you know my exaggeration factor. I'm a performer. When I meet you in person, talk to you about your family. It's a little bit different than right now on the phone. Scale one to ten, a normal story, a one, a Stu Finer's a ten. I swear to God on my children's lives. At 11.45 p.m., we were so stoned, went outside to eat pizza. Now one piece of pizza out of a hundred dozen pies. Hundred pies. Excuse me, not a hundred dozen. A hundred pies. Now one piece of pizza. So we knocked off 100 pies, and we Good. could have eaten another 20 pies. Uh, listen, with the amount of sour diesel I saw at that party, you, you could still be eating pizza <laughs> pies. It's all good. All right, it pal. was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Lot of, but it was uh, fun. And listen, can I just say this? Yes. You could eat off the floor when people left. 700 people. You nice. could have eaten off the floor. That was respect. Well, listen, we will uh, talk to you soon. And if you are a nominee, good luck, and we'll talk to you about it, okay? Okay, and then Zoo was at the party, did you? And uh, Zach was at the party. Did you talk to them about it? Uh, I have not seen either one of them yet, no. <laughs> okay, but you could get a first-hand personalization of how amazing it actually was. But, I, I, okay, uh, Craig, I love you. God bless you. Uh, Evan, you. I love you. God bless you. Number one show in the nation. Uh, you're the industry standard. What else you want me to say? I love you. I love you. No, no, you. No, all right, get out of here. Hang on. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. All right. Oh, my God. So the pulse of the people's taking on water, it seems. Well, it's also gotten dirty. He attacked Steve Cohen yeah, viciously. I respect that. He wants to win. I mean, I just... I didn't see that coming because I know he's a Met fan. Yeah, and he's an Islander fan. And well, I know he's an Islander yeah. fan, but I thought he would be more humble towards Stevie. We viciously <laughs> went after him. <laughs> I mean, he went after him. Ah, oh, it's funny. People either love Stu or hate Stu. It's it's so funny. <laughs> yes. Ah, <laughs> uh, this. I will say this. It does appear that this, if these leaks are accurate. That this might be the most competitive pulse of the people oh, of all feels, time. I mean, look, th think about what of the all leaks time. are telling us. Steve Cohen, who has saved the New York Mets, and Stu Finer, who's like a firecracker.